quicksand effect. It it start out to where you may get your foot stuck in and before you know it you're up to your nose. You can barely breathe because so much stuff has snowballed that you don't know how to deal with it. As the middle class has really shrunk, the number of people who are living in poverty grows and then the mindset grows and the mindset grows and grows and grows. I think that's what we continue to see is this mindset of there's no way out. Twenty-four-year-old Chelsea Stone is a single mother living outside Fort Worth, Texas. She grew up poor, with a mom who used illegal drugs, and with a stepfather who once punched her in the jaw. She says a lot of people expected her to end up just like her mom. There was a couple times she would lock me out of the house, because they were inside doing drugs, and so I would sleep on the trampoline during some time. I know one time I was being the rebellious teen, and I got out and went and bought poster boards and said, do not leave needles in this bathroom. Do not put needles in this trash can. Chelsea had her own daughter at age 16, forcing her to give up a full scholarship to Angelo State University. A lot of people like Chelsea get stuck in social spirals that keep them in poverty, preventing them from reaching the middle class. I had my entire four years paid for, but I couldn't keep up. I had an hour to drive back and forth to school. I had just had her, and the full-time load was way too much for me to handle with a newborn and I didn't have a car, so it was very difficult, you know, to, to do. Say, for instance, if I was living at an apartment and I didn't pay the rent, that would look bad on my credit. Because he'd be like, no, she doesn't pay her stuff. She's not good. But you do pay your stuff. Mm -hmm. Biggest obstacles would be, of course, you know, financial, having reliable daycare or somebody to watch my child. Transportation. For a while I didn't have transportation. Good job. But I've learned, you know, to save my money and save for if something were to happen. I have emergency fund where I can pull it out. Are you hungry? Chelsea had been living rent free in a friend's home in exchange for keeping up the house. But she was told she had to find a new place to live because the owner planned to sell. Like Chelsea, Cleo Thera Rand faced obstacles that kept her from attending college right after high school. When it came to colleges, like we didn't have the financial means and like we didn't know about financial aid and we didn't know that I could get scholarships because I did have good grades. His favorite spot, the McDonald's. About 22, 23, things started changing kind of for the worse. Then one day, I just decided that in the neighborhood I lived in, the only people who were making money was people who were selling drugs. I was selling crack cocaine, just really sold to make money and survive. And I ended up getting in trouble. I caught, what, like two different cases, and I ended up going to prison. What come after three? But when you go out in society and you want you know, that job and you fill out the application, it asks you, have you ever been convicted of a, of a felony? You have to write yes there. But just to see it on the application, you, your application is automatically pushed to the side. In spite of the challenges both Cleothera and Chelsea have faced, they are now both enrolled in programs at Tarrant County College in Fort Worth. My husband suggested that I go back to school, so I went down to TCC and I just started talking to some of the advisors and they started giving me like, well, you seem like you're pretty smart, so why don't you do it? And I'm like, well, I don't have the money. So they was like, well, you know, we do financial aid and they'll pretty much pay for everything. And I'm like, financial aid? Are you still looking for a part-time job? Yes. I have a list of companies that will hire people with, with record, like it's from a nonprofit that does, okay. you know, stuff. So Catholic Charities Fort Worth is working to keep people like Chelsea and Cleothera in school in hopes of keeping them out of poverty. Through their vocation and stay the course programs, the nonprofit provides emergency funding and case management services to low income students. Which I, don't, I don't see, since I have my own place, I don't see me for see me saving very much money since I'll be spending it all on bills. Okay. So how about we start 
the goal being improving your financial stability. To me, what is so discouraging sometimes is to see someone who's trying to go through school and working hard, tire blows out, can't afford to pay for a new tire, so instead of using that money um, that they would have used for next semester for books, they use it to the tire because you have to get to your part-time job and you have to keep that employment. Well, that means you can't buy books next semester, so you end up dropping out. So we, we want to mitigate those things. There's so much potential. I see that every day. You know, who knows what these people could become. You gotta shake it, right? Yeah. You shake it. I'm grateful that I've gotten the help and people gave me the chance. Because if not, I would definitely not be anywhere. I would be in a little shack house with holes in the wall, with cockroaches running around working, you know, a dead end job. But because of the programs that we have, I was able to, you know, move forward with my life. Okay. <laughs> Cleothera is working towards a degree in information and accounting management. Chelsea, who also teaches preschool at a Head Start program, is studying early childhood education. Both women plan to go on to four-year programs, and both hope they can be a positive influence for the children in their lives. For the past year, my mom and I, we've been sharing the responsibility for my nephew. I mean, like, I want to be the best example for him that anybody could be. I want him to see me in that light, to know that, well, if my aunt did time in prison and she's still going for what she wants to go for, then I, I'm, I'm more than sure I can do that and then some. Of course, I want her to finish school. I want her to go to college. Like that's an absolute must because we have to have a degree. I want her to not get pregnant when she's 16. I don't want her to make the choices that we made. Of course, I want to be able to buy my own house and just grow in my career, basically, and as well as make sure she does good in hers and support her. Yeah.